Hello, my name is Dr. Evan Esquire, and I am here again from Science Explorers. So happy to be here. Uh, I have a pretty fun lesson for you today. This one is about something called force. And we aren't talking about any kind of Star Warriors. Today we're talking about force the way a physicist talks about force. Now a physicist definition of force is an influence tending to change the motion of a body or produce motion or stress in a stationary body. What a force is, is just a push or a pull. And what we can do with that is have a lot of fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can use air as a force to push this beach ball. <laughs> It's moving a little bit. Let me see if I have something that's a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Uh, I want to ask my director real quick. Are you ready? Uh, it's going to be a little bit loud. Let me test out to make sure it works. <laughs> So let's see if we can use this air to push this beach ball. Most certainly. That's what we're dealing with. How are you doing? Eh. I want to talk about another force that we are interacting with. So we have air as a force that can push. I want to talk about another force that can pull. A force that can pull. It's all around us. Keeps my feet on the ground. And it's not just a John Mayer song, starts with a G. Gravity. Gravity is a force that pulls things down to earth. Gravity. So what I want to do now is have a competition between the leaf blower pushing the beach ball and gravity pulling it down. All right, friends, so what I want to do now is a show of force, a competition to see which force is more powerful, gravity trying to pull the beach ball down, or the leaf blower trying to push the beach ball up. Gravity. So, what we just had there was a tie. They both kind of equaled each other out. I am tangled in extension cords right now. So we had a tie. The leaf blower is pushing the beach ball up. Gravity was pulling it down. And that's how the beach ball is kind of hanging out, chilling right there. Let's do the same experiment again, but pointing the leaf blower a little bit this way or a little bit that way, a little bit this way, this, that, how you doing? All right, let's try it. wondering how was the beach ball just floating there if you're holding it at an angle why didn't it just fall down or just fly away the reason it didn't fly away or just fall down is because of something called drag unfortunately I'm not talking about the RuPaul kind of drag I'm talking about drag in the sense that a physicist thinks of drag. Now you had my leaf blower kind of pointing right at that, you know, the extension cord, and that was blowing air at this. Now, what was happening was, once the air was hitting the beach ball, it was traveling around it, kind of like how you see a 
rock that's sticking out of the river. The water travels around it, but comes back around on the other side. Now, what was happening was the air is traveling around it, but then spiraling back around it. So you have more air coming around there, and it kind of spins back around, and that's what's keeping the beach ball from flying away. The reason it hasn't flown away is because the air traveling around this comes back around on the other side, pushes it that way, and the air traveling around it is creating a force field of sorts. It's giving it a good old hug, keeping it in place, and keeping us partying. You can try this at home if you don't have a leaf blower or a beach ball. And just make sure you're working with adult supervision. All you need is a hair dryer. I cannot stress this enough. There is something called the cool setting on a hair dryer. And it has that little snowflake on this one. You want to make sure you're using that the entire time. Because otherwise, you'll have some toasty ping pong balls. Because that's the other thing you're going to need. You're going to need a little ping pong ball. And you can do the same exact activity with a ping pong ball and a hair dryer. And you can see how, how far it takes a bit of a gentle hand to get it just right, but I think you can do it. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. If you are going to do this activity at home, make sure you have adult supervision and keep the hair dryer on cold. All right. So be sure to check back for more videos. Keep sharing them. And as always, make sure to be kind because we all do our best when we all do what we can for each other. My name's Dr. Evan Esquire. I'm from Science Explorers. Goodbye.